Oh, hi there. As promised, um, I did mention that there are a few uh, combo planting that I have done here on my property. I would like to share some of the ones that I have done. Yesterday, I finished off this particular one here. And I have got um, these um, alcohol shield here. And this one is, one of them is Mrs. Cook. And this particular one is... Um, Oh, this one is Mrs. Cook and this one is um, the boss. So there are three different uh, fancy leaves in here. I'm just hoping that they will grow. This one is a little bit more advanced when I planted them and these ones were um, from um, swaps that I've swapped here in Victoria. So I'm just gonna have this one also with my fancy leaves covered. As you can see in the middle I've got a succulent planted and at the edges I have got it's called something blue but I don't know the real name and um, it's one of the succulents that I'm hoping that they will also cascade around it when it grows. So that's number one and as you can also see that I have put stones or little chips of stones in there this is because of the fact that i do get a lot of starlings blackbirds whatever birds you call and they love digging first thing in the morning so just to stop them digging i had to put some little stones around them and here is the one that we did together in the video and i have just planted the outside and because I have got plenty of these I managed to fill it quite nicely outside and I have as you can see put the rocks around it or the little stones around it to stop birds from digging and if you don't like doing combo planting you can always put them in single pots as I have here I have chosen a longer version of the pots and, and it's uh, terracotta pots. Um, geraniums and pelagonians tend to do better in terracotta pots than in plastic. I use terracotta because, as you know, geraniums, pelagoniums don't like too much moisture, too much water retention. So this is the reason why I use terracotta pots, just so that the terracotta pots absorbs the extra water that the plants don't require and here is another version of my fancy leaf that I have planted here the distinction and it's coming out for the flower showing me some flower buds there another bud coming out here so it'd be nice to see that in flower and this one is FK pink this one hasn't really got any buds in here not as much as the Afka red there, but I'm hoping that they will um, come into flower and show me some flowers for autumn. But it doesn't really matter with fancy leaves because I normally plant them for their beautiful leaves more than the flowers because that's what's worth admiring in fancy leaf pelagoniums. And I will come back to this particular one here. This is the ones that's been going for me for the last three years, actually. And um, I try not to pull the entire plants out and to replant them. All I do is literally dig out the old soil and refill with the new soil. This is what I do with these particular pots. One is in here, as you can see and one on is on this side here and this is my main entrance of the house and in our culture i get a little bit um if a believer of having red plants or flowers so you know the red plants the flowers right in front entrance to for prosperity that's the reason why i like to see red flowering things at the front entrance of my property and as you can see I have chosen standards in the middle it just needs a bit of shaping which I will get on with it and now I can see a lot more 
red flowers coming out after the heat wave we've had so these are looking good and I have combo planted in not to say you can see it but I've got some white ones here and I've got some worrying showing off here so that's a bit in there and same as here I've got as you can see the red I love red that's why the rub, uh, red color of my pelagonium the big red is more dominant in both big huge pots that I use as you can see the the pots are really huge it's up to probably 60 centimeters in height plus good another 40 to 45 centimeter in in the width or the or the diameter and also I've got the nice standard in the middle surrounded by red mainly and I've got a cutting of Warren here and Ben Franklin here on the side which is seems to be covered with the red one which I need to trim off some of these red ones but this is all I can show you here and I will show you the single more of my pencil leaves around the corner see you shortly here I am I've got few other of my pelagoniums that I have put in a longer pots in uh, terracotta pots so you can see how I have done my planting here and here's my pink um, a happy thought and this one is some sort of bronze wing here with the leaf is now turning into beautiful color and so is this one here turning into a beautiful opal shield is turning into a beautiful color and this one is um, it's got a nice outer browning in the leaves and a nice raspberry glitter orange glitter i call it it's coming into flower there and most of them here are this big pot actually needs tidying up this is why this particular plant needs to go and i'm going to restart this particular pot with um, smaller versions of these because they have outgrown and they just need repotting there and other over here all single pots that I have got with beautiful flowers here um, of I think Ruletta could be something else not sure exact name this one is the uh, nice bud of my red Pandora there petals here showing a bit of flowers Mrs Pollock here the leaves hasn't really changed its colors but when it does change it it's um it's a beautiful leaf color this one is actually dead come live i don't know how this one all died and i'm trying to rescue the vancouver centennial there and this one is is chelsea gem here that i've got nicely growing so as you can see these plants here is all singly planted all along here with some beautiful colors on them and flowers are starting to happen and this year this particular big pot here as you can see the size of the pot that pot uh, and these plants here they all need to go I need to restart um, from scratch um, apple rosebud which is flowering and happy thought that's coming into bud over here and over here and they are going to show me some autumn colors but whether or not I will wait for it or replant them I have to just wait and see what I wish to do with them and that's about it really there are a few more but um, I think I'll stop here and we'll see you again take care and have a good night bye for now